Hi artists, I'm super excited to do this lesson today with you guys about castle drawings and just show you how really truly simple it is to um, construct or draw a castle just pretty much using simple shapes. Um, these are the shapes that I came up with that continuously are repeated in my castles and you guys all know them. This is a rectangle, a square. Here I drew a square with these cutouts um, at the top of the castle wall. Here's a triangle. Here is just a straight line curved at the top and this would be a great um, shape to use for a window or a door. So castle drawing is really truly just putting shapes, different shapes together. Um, here I drew a castle, a um, little bit more added to it. I added a, a couple bricks. I added these iron rods. I have this hangout where this uh, building structure basically hangs over nothing. Um, also pay attention to that not all things are directly next to each other. This building right here or this shape I actually placed behind this wall. Um, same with this one, also adds a little bit more interest. Uh, this one is a little bit simpler, really, really, really easy just simple shapes added next to each other. And then this one is a smaller castle, um, made it to look like as if it's on a hill. And the way I started that was with uh, this curved line at the bottom. Um, so let's start drawing a castle. Now one thing, artists, when you start drawing a castle is you start with the ground. And I like my ground to be curved. I just do, I think it looks a little more interesting and a lot of castles uh, were built at the top of a hill so that they would have a overview of the valley. So I'm gonna do that. So on your paper, when you grab your paper, what I want you to do is draw the ground and I'm gonna curve mine. And there's really, truly no wrong way of how you can curve that ground. Mine is gonna be curved quite a bit, actually. So the very first shape I always draw is the shape where I then will put in my door. Like in this example, my door is right here in this rectangular shape. In this example, my door is right in the front looks like the square shape. So whatever shape you want for your first um, uh, drawing on your paper is up to you. So I'm gonna draw my very first shape. It's gonna be a rectangle. I'm gonna put mine on the side, over or down. Now one thing I also have to tell you, it's up to you if you wanna use a ruler, but I generally like when castles don't look perfect because I'm imagining they're really old and they would definitely be, um, you know, not perfect. So I'm gonna have mine be a little not as straight. So this is my very first shape. I'm gonna add a roof on top of that with, with an angle line. I'm gonna put a couple straight lines for decorative lines for my roof and now comes the door. I like it when my castle has its door because then I can I can kind of envision a little bit more what I want it to look like. My door, I'm gonna go straight line up, curve, straight line down and I'm going to draw just making it look like as if this is like this iron gate that one would have to go through to get in. Okay, how about a flag? I like a flag on a roof, on a castle, so that everybody below would know who lives here. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pick another shape. And I think I'm gonna use this one right here. This wall that at the top have, I think they're called battlements, where um, they would defend the castle shooting through these holes right here. So you can draw that or not, but I'm gonna make mine a little bit taller. I want this to be a castle that looks like nobody can go through. So I'm gonna start with a straight line, straight line down, over up. Looks like the letter U uh, 
written with straight lines. And I'm gonna repeat exactly the same thing. And remember, I don't care if it's perfect. Going down like this. Now, looks a little bit um, plain. So I'm gonna add some bricks in there. And my bricks are just rectangles, randomly placed wherever I feel like. I'm gonna do another one right here and another one right here. Okay, next what I wanna do is I could now have put another shape, another one of my shapes, these. I could place it right here but I wanna make it look like as if it's behind. I wanna make it a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna draw a larger rectangle right here and it goes beside my wall, coming all the way down. And my roof is an angle line again. Okay, I'm gonna add a window here and another metal um, cross at the top. Now I, all of my castles, noticed, I always draw these, um, this hangout, um, nothing is below it and there's a structure right here um, so I'm gonna draw this on this tower. I could put it here, I could really put it anywhere. So the way you start that is with a rectangle. And then I'm gonna draw my building right here. An angle line. Design this. And this would fall if it just hang like this. I draw this, it's tied to my building. And maybe there's some window right there. There's a design right this. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another structure um, to the side right here, because I still have space. It's gonna tie right there. And same thing, windows. There needs to be a window. So now at this stage, I'm gonna add a few more designs like this. So um, I think you guys get the gist of it. You can now add as many towers and walls and shapes on, on top of this. You can make this really big, really tall, really wide, um, completely up to you. One thing I'm gonna quickly do is my pathway and I wanna show you guys something that I often see. So if you, for example, draw your pathway and you just draw two straight lines going down, that doesn't really give you perspective. It just looks like you drew two stripes. If you wanna make it look like as if somebody's walking towards my castle, which is a little bit set back, you have to take your line and if you, hold on, I have to do it this way. If I take my marker and I go towards the side and I go wide at the bottom right here, it'll look like as if my castle has a pathway that is leading me back, like this one. See that? It's leading me back towards my castle. This is almost too flat. Um, or I have another one like this one. Um, see that? It's wider right here and it leads you back towards your castle. So you can add some really cool stuff. Maybe here we could have a drawbridge. There could be some really cool um, stuff. Could even have a tiny... There could be water. 